Okay, so Dave Feely, uh, Everton, he was just beaten Watford 2 0 in a rather laden performance. But we're in the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup. Yep. Thanks to Carabao for the tickets tonight, by the way. We ran a little competition. So, to um, get the tickets to him. And to competition with us as well. Oh, um, yeah, obviously, the they're the most important people, so thank yeah. you, Carabao. Anyway, um, what are your general kind of thoughts about Dave tonight? Positivity. This, that was a worry. It was the graft of the first half. I told you how much. I'll give you an example. The last 10 minutes, when it was 1-0, and there was a little bit of scrape around our box. You hear the main stand go, oh, that, that, that it brings you down. That, that, that's the tension running around the building. So I don't care how they played tonight, to be honest with you. It wasn't great. It was industrial and pedestrian, and it wasn't the flair what we saw for the last couple of weeks, to be honest. It was lacking pace, and there was no whip, and it was kind of concentrated and slow and laboured, like you just said, but I don't care, so got go, through. So go, it's very true, so going back to the start though, uh, the line-up, um, I took it out at half time, I thought that Wojtki looked a little bit lost out there. Yeah. It, wasn't a, it wasn't necessarily a criticism or me writing him off, he was a young boy, yeah. and I, I said, I, I watched Silver a little bit, I didn't see him giving him too much direction, but what, what, was the, what do you think the thinking was for playing him out on the, on the right? played there for Juventus, but what I would suggest is that um, he played him there, because of the alternative being Calvert Lewin out there, and Moise Keane has got a better touch on the run with the ball and likely to drop a shoulder and go inside the player, i.e., coming in from the wing. Danny, it was Hobson's choice, neither of them in an idea where would have played there. I think it was just a way to accommodate him into the team, to be honest with you, because we're lacking Bernard now. Bernard's been the player, he's been the little conductor, the orchestra meister, and, and the problem is now. Without him, we don't break the lines, and so teams are able to set up with two bands of four and just move across the park and nullify us. Particularly when Walcott wasn't there to add the impetus of pace to, to give you the ball over the top to run onto, as we saw in the last three and 20 minutes. Uh, Alex Awobi's performance, I thought it was very good. I love watching Alex Awobi play football, um, and I thought at times he made us tick tonight. He had a decent game, but nobody was great tonight. No, he's okay. Awobi will wear in the system, but in, in my opinion, the best I've seen Bernard, Iwobi and Walker play has been in the last two games, the previous two games of this one, where they all play together and stretch the team where you can have an Arrowhead, a Vanguard at the top of them, it gives you all kind of options and it doesn't allow teams to set up with two banks of four because you break the lines all the time. Um, you make to Richarlison's performance that I feel like he always gets a, maybe sometimes the occasion of his former these, club gets a, I think gets with these and, and he double up on them and try and frustrate him and he buys into it yes. a lot but the goal at, so his goal at really the very wild. end most people won't have seen that yet. no but he'll take that away so the next time he plays these maybe a bit of that press is gone and just done it and knocked them out of public that was basically the end of the game but he deserved it he carried on trying and he was still going in, in, in extra time, so you've got to give him that minute. So the quarter-finals of the Carabao Cup then now, Dave. Yeah. Um, if you could say one thing, I think, to Evertonians now to give us some confidence, that we can potentially win this, this trophy. If you've got anything that you can look at and say, there's something there. First of all, I'd I, 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 um, um, caution against doing that. What I would suggest is, it's Tuesday, and there's games to go on a Wednesday. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. This is an incremental journey, and if we're going to do it, we're going to have to face big teams. So let's get till tomorrow, see who goes through, see what the draw is, hope for the home tie, whoever it is, hope to play them here, because that this will help us uh, as we go, particularly if we get through this round. We've got to face them at home and away after that. But the next tie, just to get it at home, overcome that, and see what we get from there. And, and I know you're, like, you're not one of these people who's ever been getting on Marco's back and you, you try and look at the big pitch because of credit to you obviously as a supporter but does this because I mean this has been like marked down as a really important game. It was it? Do you game. think this is giving him a bit more time? If he was gonna get the sack for one game, in my opinion this season, that would have been it. He gets he was appointed and retained to win so he's to move up the league, no guesses as a sign, but ostensibly to win so but it's retained it possibly to win. Alright, nice one. Peace on air. Thank you, mate. Peace on